hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding Odoo external API so in the previous video we have successfully learned how to authenticate Odoo from external application so using external API that is using Odoo XML RPC and using common dot authenticate method we have successfully authenticated in Odoo so if I open that file which we have used to illustrate in that video so let me open that file and here you can see these are the codes that we have written for authenticating in Odoo. Now in this video, I'll be illustrating you how we can read or search inside Odoo database. Like let's say what I can say. Suppose if I need to search inside the Odoo database to get all the employee records or for getting all the invoices or for getting all the customers in the database, I can use the search method. So I'll be covering two topics in the video one is search and other one is read so let's see how we can search inside the Odoo database so if I go back to Odoo documentation so here we have external API documentation and if I scroll down let me take that section in the Odoo documentation yep here we have the documentation calling methods so you can just if you have time you can just go through this documentation so I'll be starting from this section so what we are going to do is that we'll be searching inside the rest.partner model so here we have odoo 15 database and this is the database dev db which i'm using inside this python script so here we have around 42 records in rest.partner model and let's read it from this python script so first of all for calling a uh, methods in Odoo we have to use this endpoint that is XML RPC to slash object so initially we have used XML RPC to common now we will be using a different method to call objects so let me copy these two codes so these are Python codes and I'll put it inside the Python file so here you can see we have we are creating a variable models XML RPC client server proxy and this endpoint and we are passing the URL also and what we will be doing is that um, let me take this code that will be better I'll take this code so here you can see models dot execute kw db uid password so I'm passing the credentials always db uid password then res dot partner that is we have to search inside this model and search method will be executed and this is the domain to apply so if i remove this domain all the partners or that is all the records inside this model will be returned currently as i have set a domain that is i need to get only i need to get only customers for this company so i'll show you let me put it in a variable partners i'll put it in a variable partners and let me print it print and we will see what we are getting inside this variable partners we save and let me run the script in the terminal so here we have the terminal of ubuntu and if i trigger this you can see we are getting the result as follows that is 10 11 15 those are the ids so if i go to the ui that is Odoo database and let me filter is company companies what you can see we are getting 11 records and let me do one thing let me add the id field in the tree view so we can understand it easily so i'll just add field name equal to id over here save and if i refresh filter sorry filter we will filter companies you can see id 10 11 15 which we are getting here 10 11 15 44 43 the result we are getting here so that means we have successfully searched inside the database and you have to remember search method will return only the ids of record so we have you can see in partners variable we have received the ids and if you remove this domain so here we have applied a domain and if you remove this control s and if you search again Yep, we have to control Z. I think we can only remove one one of that. This one control is and let me clear the log. So clear 
and if I execute that once again you'll be getting a lot of records around all the that all the records from this table if you need to filter the uh, filter the search you can add your domain here so instead of its company let me filter any other thing what I can see suppose if I need to search for this email user having this email info at agrolite.com you can do it as follows email equal to I'll put like this control s and let me execute and see what result we get you can see once we search email equal to info at agrolite.com we are getting a result as 10 which is the id of the record and if you check here you can see id so this is the search method in odoo external api so i hope you understood how to trigger the search method now let's see how we can get the readable values like name email id etc so for that we will be using the read method in odoo so if i go back to odoo documentation before going into read method if you need to limit let me do one thing so let me remove this domain and let me keep the initial domain itself where we will have some records control is and if i trigger it once again the script you are getting how much result one two three four five six around 11 records you will be getting result suppose if you need to limit uh, the result into a particular records you can apply offset and pagination so here you can see you will have these attributes pagination by default a search will return the ids of all records matching the condition which may be a huge number offset and limits parameters are available to only retrieve a subset of all matched records so let me add that to my code so here i'll put the pagination i'll put offset I'll keep offset one and let me let me try let me try with this code and you can see offset is starting from 10 so i'll put zero offset or you can remove offset and only i need limit control is i need only five records so let me clear and if i execute you can see you are getting five records one two three four five because here i have given the limit as five if i make it as seven control s and if you run the script again you will be getting seven 43 41 42 12 that is two more records so that's the use of limit and offset attribute now we will move to read method so here you have count record so let it stay there we will use a read record so let me copy this code and let me put it here so here i'll put a comment search method search method and here i'll put a comment as authentication authentication and i'll do one thing i'll just adjust the code if not your id not your id and i'll do a return so rest of the codes will not get executed and if authentication succeeded we will be following the continue following the executing the rest of the codes and here we have executed search method and now we are going to learn a read method in odoo so models dot execute kw db your id password rest partner and read method we are going to trigger read method and you have to pass ids we already have ids which we have get from the search method inside this partner variable so i'll pass that in here ids so i'll arrange partners partner rec i'll put a variable ms partner rec and let me print that Control is and let me trigger it again. Return outside the function. So we don't have things 
it's not a function or we can put anything or I'll do like this if your ID and control is if I trigger it you can see you are getting the result as follows a lot of lines and you may think what it is coming full of something because read method will read all the fields but we don't need to read all the fields from the partner model so we can specify which all fields has to be returned in read method so if you go down we can see we can specify which all fields has to be returned so along with the read method after the ids i'll put i need to retrieve id of the uh, partner and name so here i'll say i need to get only id and name so let me clear my log and execute the script again and you can see you are getting the result as follows list of dict id 10 name deco addict so if you come here id 10 deco addict and id 11 Gemini furniture so if I take id 11 Gemini furniture and if you take 41 id 41 the script says it's automates automates then id 12 ready mat id 12 so id 12 equal to ready math so we have successfully received the result here so this is how we can use search and read method in Odoo so there is one more method that I will discuss which is search count to get the number of count so I'll copy this code and I'll put it here instead of search I'll put search count and from search count I'll remove the limit because if I put limit that is doesn't match with search count because if I'm is counting search count and if I am putting limit I'll get only the limit as a result so I'll remove the limit from here and let me arrange the indentation partners count and let me print it and partners count equal to control s and let me trigger the script again partners count is 11 and I'm getting authentication failed it has to be authentication succeeded in else condition I'll put it else authentication failed so we already have learned how to trigger the search method this is the, the syntax of search method this is search count and this is read method so here we have illustrated with python code so if you are using php ruby or java you can switch the tab ruby and you will be getting the code php you have the code here and if you are a mobile app developer with java you can use this code so for all the records the illustrated here you can see you will be getting samples in python ruby php and java so i hope you understood how we have triggered the search method search count and read method so if you have any doubts feedbacks or suggestions don't hesitate to share with us directly under the video just do a comment and if you like the video please do click the like button and support us by sharing the video with your Odoo friends and with your Odoo circle so that's it for the day have a nice day thank you